Good morning, everyone. We're out here um, very early in the morning. We're, we're plugging sod banks. Had to wait. We get out usually around just before sunrise. So I had to wait for the sun to come up before we could start filming the video with the good sun behind us. Now we're plugging um, sod banks. What I'm doing is we're looking for early morning surface feeding fishing near these sod banks back here. And we use um, sort of like a flathead surface lure. And with a little action with the wrist, you get the lure to pop above the surface. And then the fish that are feeding near the top of the water over by the sod banks, we'll see it and, you know, strike at it. So basically what we're looking for here right now, this time of day, is the occasional strike bass, which is, you know, sort of an elusive fish in the summertime. They're more of a cold water fish, but they do feed, um, they do feed near the sod banks in the morning. So you have to just sort of be dedicated and get yourself up early and um, try to uh, get that fish. But it's a nice, it's a nice place to be fishing. Uh, first thing in the morning, all you really hear are the birds. Um, we're over here near Wreck Inlet in Brigantine, so you can actually hear the ocean waves about a half a mile away. And that makes a nice relaxing relaxing morning to do that. So again I'll, I'll plug the plug the sir sod banks with my popper, drink a little tea, and start my Tuesday morning off right. So today for our chiropractic tip, we're going to talk about real, this one's going to be a short one, a quick one, so I've got to really um, concentrate on this type of fishing. We're going to talk about the safety pin cycle. Now the safety pin cycle was, it's probably, it's a revolutionary theory that when it first was thought of by the Palmers back in the early 1900s. It was pretty far out there. But now, in science today, there's a fish popping behind me. In science today, the safety pin cycle, you know, it's taken well over 100 years for that to be shown to be, um, to have validity. So what are we talking about when we're talking about the safety pin cycle? We're basically talking about how your body works as far as its nervous system in control of all the organs, tissues, and systems in your body via a, a feedback loop. So meaning, what's a feedback loop? You can't get that way where that fish is biting. Um, or jumping, not biting. We'll see if he bites. A feedback loop is that your brain sends a message out to your body and then your body sends the message back to your brain so that the communication every part of your body knows exactly what to do when to do it and it responds back to the brain letting it know it's done so the brain can further direct and control um, all the actions and the functions of the body so that feedback loop would be your brain sending a message down the spinal cord and then out the spinal nerve to whatever organ system, let's say to your heart. And it's telling your heart that, you know, we need to, we need to beat faster. So the heart gets the message from the spinal nerves, it beats faster, it sends the message back the spinal nerves, up the spinal cord to the brain to tell the brain that the heart is actually beating faster. So then the brain now is in charge of what happens next. Do we need the heart to slow down? Do we need it to beat even faster? Same. So it's a, it's, a, it's a loop. Brain to body, 
body to brain. So the safety pin cycle is interesting because the, the Palmers who invented chiropractic came up with the theory that if you interfere with that feedback loop, then the body's not going to be as healthy and it's not going to work as well. So here, you know, here's a little safety pin that's small, and I'll, I'll, but I usually um, I'll have some, I have something that I use when I fish. I have my, my, my tackle box and I use this uh, carbon air. So what you'll see here, the safety pin cycle, if the safety pin was the, that was the brain, and then we're talking about sending messages down to the body, which is the bottom of the safety pin cycle, and then the body sending back to the brain. All right, so we can use this here because it's bigger. So let's say this is the brain here, and this is the body right here. So what we have now is the brain sending messages down to the body, the body sending messages back up to the brain. Now, if this is interfered with, the communication cycle is going to break. So how do we do it? Well, we open the safety pin, and that creates an interruption or an interference. Now that message, it's just like a short circuit. That message is now interfered with, and now the nervous system is able to communicate with the body as well as it should. So as far as uh, and then if we close the safety pin, then the message continues and everything works as well as it should. So that's the safety pin cycle. So how it applies to chiropractic is that if the spinal bone is out of alignment, it's sort of like opening the safety pin. Now we're interfering with the neural message and the body can't communicate as well as it should. And then when we get the spine, when the spine is adjusted, cycle of communication, that feedback loop. So the brain now can communicate down to the body, the body sends the message back to the brain and it just keeps going, the feedback loop. So that would be the safety pit cycle. So back in, um, back in uh, 18, or 1895, 1900s when chiropractic developed that safety pit cycle through the Palmers, that was a revolutionary idea. Sort of uh, beyond people's grasp back then, you know, they were like thinking safety pin cycles, what safety pins, and how does that have to do with the body? But as time went on, and medicine improved, and and technology improved, and they were able to actually see how the nervous system works, and how interference and interruptions and neural connections disrupt that that, that feedback loop, then the safety pin cycle became a, a you know, a valid point of explanation as to what, how the body works and how the neurology works. So it's an important part of chiropractic history. It's an important part of science today. Um, the safety pin cycle shows you that there's a feedback loop, how the body works. Brain has to communicate, body has to communicate back if there's an interruption in that feedback loop, just as if you were moving in the safety pin.